play from Rebecca Split. All right, you're gonna start with this in a double foot lock on one side. Now you do want to start with an egg beater wrap foot lock. The reason why is because it'll be easier for you to unwrap the foot lock for this skill. Now take note that you can do this skill with a regular foot lock. You just might get stuck for your first few times doing this. All right. So she's going to go ahead and put that egg beater wrap on. So you're going to do it twice. Now we do have tutorials on egg beater wrap if you need a tutorial on an egg beater wrap. All right. We're just going to put that foot lock on here. And take note if you need um, help getting into your Rebecca split, you're going to want to refer back to our video for that as well. So remember to always work in progression. All right, so for your Rebecca split, you're going to put one and a half wrap on. All right, so watch this here. So you're going to put one wrap on. All right, so you're going to wrap it once, and then you're going to wrap it a half by keeping it in that down arm. The top arm, the top hand, is going to switch to the other pole. From here, you're going to split the fabric, and that loose leg is going to go through the middle of the fabric. So you are going to do a rotation around. Okay, you're going to have to let go of your top arm to make this rotation happen. So the leg goes in between the fabric. The top arm, top hand comes off as you rotate around. As you're rotating around, you're going to hook the knee that the foot is wrapped on the fabric pole that the hand was not on. You're going to switch your grip, palms up, thumb down. You're going to take your, your foot lock off. You have to keep tension in that other hand so that you don't slide right out of that loop. All right, so you're going to take that foot lock off and you're going to keep that fabric pole in your hands, palms forward, You're going to bring that hooked knee out and through the center of the fabric and you're going to be in your belay, in your loop. So there is a settling in on this loop that has to happen in the back by the shoulder blades. When you're ready to come out, and that is so that the, the knot, the loop doesn't cinch up on you. Okay, so you need to settle in on it. You want to settle in on that loop before you wrap and stick. So when you're ready to come out, you can bring the fabrics together. You're going to wrap and stick. And then... When you're ready to come out, you're going to go ahead and foot lock the fabric. Now you want to be careful here in keeping your fabrics together because it can make your loop cinch up. All right, you're going to bring the hand through the loop. You're going to shimmy those shoulders right out of that loop along with the head. Let's look at that again. Arm through the loop. Other arm through, you can shimmy those shoulders, shimmy the head out. As you come all the way out, you're going to keep one hand in the loop and grab the loop, and then you can do all kinds of variation shapes here. So, you, this is a, a spot where you can get creative. All right, we're just going to go down like this here. When you're ready to come up, we'll come up to sit. You're going to grab that opposite pole, and then you're going to pull that loop out of there. All right, It's going to um, be um, longer on that one side. And then you can just stand up and come right on out of there. All right, let's take a look at this. 
um, in real motion, in real speed here. Let's see. Just a quick reminder, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Hit that bell on the side so that you get notifications when we drop our newest tutorials. And if you have any um, suggestions or wants or concerns or needs, tips, tricks or anything, go ahead and leave them down below in the comments. We'll see you soon.